All right, guys, welcome to the Tutor Learning Center. This is JD Tutor, and I'm here to teach you today about Algebra 2. Uh, last video, we learned about Lesson 1 1 and Unit 1 for the Springboard uh, textbook. So now we're going to be learning, doing an Activity 1 practice for Lesson 1 1. All right. All right, and guys, I apologize. There's a train in the background trying to talk over me. So, um, all right, so let's look at, I'll do my best, guys, to try to talk over the, over the train. So, um, number one, all right, first scenario, Susan makes and sells purses. Ah, she makes them. That means it's going to cost her. She sells purses. That's going to make her a profit. The purse costs her a uh, $12 each to make uh, at each, so each purse, um, seeing a variable coming in there, and she sells them, makes a profit for $25, so P, she sells what, P, 25 per purse, right, so this Saturday, she is renting a booth, that's going to cost her money, at a craft fair for $60, all right, let's look at this, guys, all right, so uh, number one, write an equation that can be used to find the number of purses Susan must sell to make a profit of $250 at the fair. Anytime you don't know what the number is, you uh, substitute it with a variable. In this case, it's P for purse. All right, so she needs to pull off $250 at the fair. All right, let's start with this. She's renting a booth so uh, at the fair for $60. Why did I choose this first? Because it's only one day. It's only on Saturday. So she doesn't have 60 times whatever day, okay? Or 60 times whatever purses, okay? So it's only one time. So in an equation, what does our number without any variables that normally goes here at the end, right? All right. Uh, so let's start with, um, guys, let me erase some of this stuff here. Okay. All right. So uh, let's look at this. Why am I looking at pur purses cost her $12? So cost her $12. So out of her pocket. And because it says the purses each to make each each purse, but we don't know how much each is, right? So we put P for purse there. All right, so then she sells them. She's making a profit. So plus 25. And we also put a P there, guys, because it's per purse, right? All right, so solve the equation. Solve the equation. Let's solve it. Let's go to the whiteboard. All right. Okay, 25P minus 12P minus 60 equals 250. All right, so we can combine like terms, and that's going to give us 13P minus 60 equals 250. Okay, um, get rid of this 60 because we want to start getting, working our way to P by itself. There's 13 on it, but have no fear, we're going to get there. And then equals 310. All right, divide by 13 to get rid of that, to get the P by itself, 13 both sides. P is approximately uh, 23.8. Okay, so 24 purses is really what she's selling. All right, guys, pause that for a, a minute and write that down. Undo, undo this. All right, so let's look at number three. 
if Susan sells a sells 20 purses at, at a fair, okay, if she sells 20 at the fair, will she meet her profit or her goal? No, she needs to sell at least 24 purses. 20 is less than 24. All right. Well, let's look at the next scenario. Our medical rescue helicopter is flying at an average speed of 172 miles per hour toward its base hospital at 2.52 p.m. So at 2.52, the helicopter is 80 miles from the hospital. All right, use this information for four through six. All right, so remember in our last a video about the water slides in lesson one one, right? Remember how they wanted to do R for riders and how many um, how many tubes they needed, and there were two riders per tube, so it was R over two, right? And then we had to times it times the the um, minutes, right? Which was times um, R over two times 0 0.05. And then we had to do it again for the second slide, right? Does this look familiar? I think it does. All right. And so uh, we are doing 172 miles per hour. Okay. And then um, this is going to be um, 80 right here, 80 miles from the hospital. All right. So let's do the work. Okay, so 13 P, oh, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong thing, guys. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm sorry, 172, where am I at today? All right, 172 times M over 60 <laughs> equals 80. All right, so let's, work this problem out together guys so let's um simplify this 15 so by four uh four goes into 60 15 times four goes into 172 43 times all right so 43 times m is 43 m over 15 so our M is going to come out here. All right, equals 80. All right, since our M is out here and it's not attached to anything in here, um, we're going to take 4315 and reverse it and times it times itself to get rid of that. So we can have the M by itself, but what you do to one side you do to the other side. I'm gonna give it some weights and measure and balance here by putting an 80 over one. That is a dot. Okay, so M equals 1200 over 43. And then, so M is going to be approximately 27 point nine all right guys take a moment write all that down pause the video if you have to okay all right guys let's go on to the next one Okay, uh, solve the equation, which we did. <clears throat> An emergency team needs to be on the roof of the hospital three minutes before the helicopter arrives, three minutes before it arrives. It takes the team four minutes to reach the roof. At what time should the team start moving to the roof to meet the helicopter. All right, guys, so let's look over here at number six. 
at 3.03 p.m. Sample explanation, the helicopter will reach the hospital 28 minutes after 2.42 p.m. or at 3.10 p.m. The team needs to start moving the helicopters seven, I mean, moving seven minutes before the helicopters arrive or at 3.03 p.m. All right, so let's look at number eight, guys. All right, number seven, excuse me. Um, so Jerome bought a sweater that was on sale for 20% off. Well, if it's 20% off, then we're left with 80%. Okay. And Jerome paid $25.10 for it. So we know that it's going to be equal to. Okay. And then there's taxes, which is going to be um, 0 0.0825. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, he paid $25.10 for the sweater and sales tax is going to be 8.25%. Okay. So I've converted these into decimals. All right, so write an equation that can be used to find the original price and solve the equation. All right. So let's get to the drawing board. Okay. So we're looking at uh, 2898 is what he paid. So I'm sorry. Um, yeah, 2898. Or actually, hold on, guys. Um, I'm sorry, 80%. I'm stuck on the next <laughs> the next equation. All right, 80% P. Um, that's how much he had plus, because he got 20% off plus 0 0.0825 times that 0 0.80 P equals $25.10. All right, so here's your tax. This is what's left over after getting the 20% off. 80%, right? And here's how much he paid. All right, guys. All right. That's a P. All right. So let's multiply this times that. Uh, point zero point zero eight two five times zero point eight zero p, and we're going to get zero point eight zero p plus zero point zero six six p equals twenty five ten. All right, let's. Do oh, add them together because they're like terms. So 0 0.866p equals 2510. All right, and divide 0 0.866p, divide the same over here. Actually, there's no P on this. Okay. All right, and cancel, cancel, and P is approximately 
Okay. All right. So, um, all right, guys. Making a mess of this whiteboard. All right. So, 0 0.866 goes into 25.10, and you'll get uh, 28.98. Let's go back. Okay, let's, uh, so I think we've solved seven and eight. How much money did Jerome save by buying the sweater on sale? All right, so he will save $6.27. So I will explain that, well, I'll explain to you here. The cost of the original sweater with tax was in reverse was 28.98 plus the taxes plus the original times the original uh, price equals 31.37 well, let me do that for you okay all right so the uh, in reverse, the original price was twenty eight ninety eight plus the tax. Okay, times the original price. Okay, and it equaled originally thirty one. 37. All right, so now we're going to take that 3137 and minus it times the sale price that the total sale price he got. Oops, 25 guys. 10 equals and this is what he saved. $6.27. All right, guys, pause the video and write that down. All right, and that is it. So he took, uh, we took the old, uh, with the original price, it should have been minus the total original price that he got and subtracted it. It came out to $6.27. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.